The rains have come and gone in Gainesville. It is Florida in May, after all. We were delayed about an hour, but ready to go and get the Gainesville Regional all started up with the number four national seed, Florida, and the A-Sun Tournament Champions, Florida Gulf Coast. Welcome to the NCAA Softball Regionals, presented by Capital One. A look at the bracket here in the Gainesville Regional, a double elimination format, so all four teams will be alive, even plus 342 on the season. Four extra base hits has driven in 23 runs so far for the Eagles. And she'll look at strike three. That is that spark plug. You have to have players who really know, all right, first inning, let's pack a punch, let's throw some swings. Got her on the inside corner this time. Now Neely Peterson, nobody on, swinging at the first pitch, pops it up on the left side. This is for the freshman Ariel Kowalewski, just an eight pitch inning for Keegan Rothrock as Florida Gulf Coast. One, two, had to stay alive over to third, bobbled for a moment, but a nice recovery by Gibson just in time to get the speedy Falby. Three and one on the all SEC first teamer. Off the fists over to second. There's Meek. Two away. Great start for Sparkman in the circle so far. For FGCU, this is their FGCU. Right back to Sparkman. Well, <laughs> Egan Rothrock sets FGCU up. Three up, three down. Same thing for Sparkman in the circle, no score after one. That's off the end of the bat to third, and there's Kowalewski for out number one. Well, we certainly know that Keegan Rothrock was thrown into the fire in the S. Oh, and two on Mackenzie Wittenberg. Chopper over to second. There's Williams and the freshman over to her fellow freshman, Brown, on the right side of the infield for round number two. But Skyler Wallace at short. Out to center, and there's Falby. Barely has to move a muscle. <laughs> and the first six in a row retired now by Keegan Rothrock. 23. Erickson bounces over to second, and that's handled by me for out number one. It's just casual, everyday conversation for them, but the wealth of information. 3-1, driven, right center field, on the run, Black hauls it in. We know the adjustments that we need to make. And there's a four-pitch walk to Kissler. It's blemish of the day for Sparkman in the circle. 3-2, off the end of the bat, shallow left center, and there is Oaks, a terrific defensive center fielder to haul it in. And they might not have been the team. Megan Ricks hit by a pitch to lead off the third. That's the first. A hit and run attempt. Whenever Florida Gulf Coast gets on base, you're gonna see a lot of action, a lot of pressure on defense from them. Not going, and the pitch has popped up. There's Williams. One away. One on, one out, no score. Top of the third. Runner on the move. Throw down by Erickson. Not in time, and not often you're able to swipe a base off of Erickson, but that is exactly that. You love to see the aggression. I feel like, I don't want to say disappearing art, but I don't see it as much. Chopper over to Wallace from her knees, makes the strong throw. How about the stretch by Brown? Two away. <laughs> also prevented the runner from advancing to third. A runner on third with two outs is a lot more attractive than a runner on second. And there's Kowalewski to haul it in. And so. It was their mascot. I, I was, wait, he's not real? <laughs> kind of threw me for a loop. Ariel Kowalewski over to second, and there is me, out number one. A good seat. I'm the best seat in the house. I wonder if he ever tries to talk to her. <laughs> talk to her during the game. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine outside of the 
the fields. He's talking to her all the time. There's a walk. Ignited gets them going. That's what they need right now as we're in the bottom of the third with two base runners. 0-2 oh, is off of the glove of Sparkman. Go to second just in time. What an adjustment by Wiley. It's short, but Williams thinks she's safe. Video evidence in order to overturn the call on the field, which keep in mind was out. Is there a look that's good enough that would change the call by Tyler Barfus at second base? I think if there was one, it was the first one that we saw. Which is unfortunate, but we're gonna see him put his arms out safe, and then there we go. Quite a way to get our first hit of this regional as that's tagged out to right. There's Black once again, and no advance. Otis swinging on the first pitch, and there's two away. Having that discipline. Only a matter of time. Wallace bounces it into right center. Florida takes the lead. Falby around third, and she's in there as well. It's a two-run hit for Skyler Wallace, and Florida's on the board. And Skyler Wallace, just like that, it's the same pitch, it's the same location, just a little bit farther over the plate. And she didn't get all of it, but that's the thing that we were talking about. The harder you hit it, the more likely it's to get through the infield. And she's fired up. This team has been threatening, wanting, 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 all in consistently throughout the year. She goes the opposite way, lifted to left. Park's gonna hold it for Viancos. And that'll do it here in the third. Coach after Donna Papa retires at UNC. High hop to Wallace, one away. The Women's College World Series returns to Oklahoma City on Peterson and wins that battle. Out to right field for Kissler, two away. What is it like, though, to come in as an overwhelming favorite? As somebody who is confident in my ability. That's fair. And down the left field line, there goes Gibson into second, sliding in with a two-out double. Also, I'll just call it for her. And so now Mackenzie Wittenberg swinging at the first pitch, and there it goes to Wallace. And Rothrock is out of a jam here in the fourth. Gators looking to add. She gets so many RBIs for this team, especially recently. 2-1 is flown out to shallow center. The second baseman makes the call in the catch. There's Meek, one away. I tell you, I've been so impressed with Right back to Sparkman. Two away. And we always love a pitcher. Chopper over to third under the glove of Gibson. There's Wiley across the diamond. She got her. <laughs> but maybe let's look for pitches that are waist high. Because let's be honest, whenever you see a good rise ball, you can't always lay off of that. Swing and a miss. One you have to love the game a lot, and you have to have really good support, and that's one thing that this team has. Fly ball out to left. This is playable for Otis, and there's two away. You have not all year long when you get to the <laughs> SEC tournament. One, two, flown, and caught. There's Gels. The third one, two, three inning for... ...of that rally. Just Samik, she has been really busy over at second base. Didn't have to move too far for that line drive off the bat of Kowalewski. There, things might have been a little bit different. The 3-0 is upstairs. And we talked about it last time. As long as you get back, it though, right? It accomplishes the same goal. <laughs> Just make sure you're safe. 1-0 right at third, there's Gibson, and they'll easily double off Williams. Now can FGCU get anything going at the plate? That's earlier delayed our start an hour, but that's it. That fly ball pushes the left fielder Otis back, and she'll drift and make the play. All things considered, could have been a lot worse, but only one hour, and now the sun is shining, and so far. 
this game is going in a very different direction. What a bunt. Well done by Viancos, and maybe that is the spark for FGCU. This is sending with a double play. Nothing in two, though, on Oaks. 0 for 2 herself. Off the fist to third, and there's Kowalewski for out number two. Able to run through, didn't lose at all. Jander on the left side, Kowalewski the call and the catch. Every time that Rothrock has needed to make a big pitch, she's been able to come in up on the hands of Florida Gulf Coast. Her first Women's College World Series was Florida back in 2014. She was just saying, it feels so full circle to be a Gator. Big cut and a miss. Spost eight games. She's also homered in four straight. Give her another hit here in this one. An inning. They're absolutely representing the Atlantic Sun Conference exceptionally well. But now running into a little bit of trouble in this middle of the order. Wallace to second and Eric. Outside themselves, get us out of this inning quickly. Home deals to Reagan Walsh. Runners on the move and the double steal executed by Florida. A couple steps up the middle, a little bit deeper. It's a lot longer run. Mesa could score two. That's driven out to left field. Viancos underneath makes the play. Easily going to get Florida another run on the Walsh sack fly. And a bit more breathing room for Keegan Rothrock when we play the top of the seventh. This pitch just elevated over the middle of the plate. Can't get much nicer than that. And Walsh, we talked about her. She kind of goes under the radar. You're so... So I was wrong earlier whenever I spoke. There's just a runner on second. By putting the runner at first, there's a force at third. There there's go. a force at second. There's a force at first. It gives them opportunity. The game is making the most of everything. Opposite way, dunks in front of Viancos. Erickson coming in. Both runners move up on the errant throw. And now the Gators offense coming together. Gills delivers. The Gators, they have really bust this game wide open now. It feels like they are just attacking, swinging, getting those runs. Look at the aggression from Erickson. No stop, didn't even look to see, okay, is she throwing home as she tries to cut it off, mishandles it. Kowalewski dunks it into right field. Two more for Florida. And here is that offense that the fans at Presley Stadium all know and love so well. We talked about how great a job Sparkman was doing. She hit those corners well. This pitch over the plate, and again, another one that is elevated. You don't have to hit it over the fence to be able to score two. You just have to get it to the outfield. Having trouble pitching to Williams, walked her last two at-bats. Williams sends it skyward to shallow left for Bianco, and she'll make the play. Florida's offense breaks out, though. A four-run sixth. Can't, she can't be. We need her. We, don't we have need a choice. her through this season. Yep. Jam to shallow center, and there's Falby one away. 2-2, two, two, a third. There's Kowalewski. She's been busy over there at the hot corner. <laughs> and it was an easy five-inning run rule win for Louisiana earlier on today over Princeton. There's the final out here for Florida as they take down Florida Gulf Coast with an impressive 6-0 shutout. Four of those runs coming in the bottom of the sixth. I mean, maybe they started off slow, yes, but once you wake the giant that is Florida, it is hard to keep them in check.